Administrator for the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. My name is Leilani Munter, and I'm a biology graduate turned race car driver. And My name is Nick Forster, and I'm a bluegrass musician uh, who also is the uh, founder and host of E-Town and responsible for, for this spot. My name is Candace Orlando. I'm Lori Joyce's daughter, and we co-directed Arise together, um, so it's a mother-daughter film. I'm also the executive director of a uh, urban farm in Denver called Herbiculture Community Farms. And As I am president of Natural Capitalism Solutions, we work with companies, communities, countries on ways to implement more regenerative practices profitably. I just had an appreciation at a very young age for the beauty of nature, and I don't know what it is about me, but I always had a sense of a, of a frailty there. And the administrator determined that greenhouse gases uh, were an endangerment to public health and welfare. We pursue climate change, uh, carbon reductions, at the expense of the economy, but the reality is they go hand in hand, and if you look at what we've done under the Clean Air Act. I think that if you have kind of um, like kind of focused, full-length, beautifully made forms of media, that can be a super effective way to get people to care about these things. And you know, planting trees and replenishing the earth. And I think that uh, that that's something that a woman really does have a direct connection to is our mother earth. To look to you and when, I mean, like, honey, what earthly difference do you make driving a car around an oval? <laughs> <laughs> People look at you. The two-way process going on here, it's neither something which immediately comes and hits us between the eyes, but it's also something we try and make sure is as far away as possible. Conservative values, we have not managed to find a way of talking about climate change yet, which adequately engages with them and where they come from. We do speak to people's spirit, uh, it really does change hearts and minds. I think that a hugely underrated way to use your voice, and this is gonna sound corny, but I believe it, is to vote. And in the midterm elections, I think it was 12% of voters were under 30. Just sharing your voice with your representatives. I mean, I, I can't call the audience right now, but I'd be curious how many people uh, in the audience there have actually written to their congressman or senator about climate change. Something like 20% of young Americans have this, what is it, affective anxiety disorder manifested by cutting themselves. They don't believe there's a future. Gilard Deschardins said, the future belongs to those who give hope to the next generation. What matters is what happens after this. Will people in Boulder take the action that they can? Will they put solar on their roofs? Will Boulder municipalize?